Hello and welcome back. I'm starting off with NYX's eyeshadow base. I'm applying this all over my eyelids to create a clear canvas. And taking some good old scotch tape to help me with the defined edge. I'm going to be using Latte by Makeup Geek. I'm going to be applying this onto the crease to really warm up this eye look. Then taking L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner, I'm going to be applying this to my top lash line. I'm going to be applying this, you know, not very precise, just kind of putting it on there because I'm going to be smudging it eventually. I'm taking a dark brown from the Lorac Pro Palette. This is called Espresso. I'm using this to begin the smoking process of this liner look. With a more precise brush, I'm using the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. I'm using this to really take the product that I already have and smudge it out outward so it creates a more defined edge. Next with Cocoa Bear, I'm taking this to smoke out the liner a bit more and I feel this creates a bit more dimension to the eye look as well as creates a bit of a gradient effect. I'm also applying that same color onto the crease and blending it out. With the same liner that I previously used, I'm going to be applying this to my lower lash line and I'm going to be smudging it out with Cocoa Bear and also Espresso once more from the Lorac Pro Palette. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be taking a matte white from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to be applying that onto the top of my brow bone and also to the inner tear duct of my eyes. I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara and I'm twirling brush because it builds the product a lot more into my lashes and giving them the most volume. With this product, I just swirled my brush into the darker area for a blush tone and then I also use the lighter colors as a highlighter. This product is pretty much multi-purpose. You can use it as a blush, as a highlighter, and as an eyeshadow. I'm taking this Bite Beauty Lippy Pencil and I'm applying that sort of like an outline on my lips. I want to create a bit of dimension. As you can see, I'm applying that to the sides of my lips. And then I'm going in with NARS Turkish Delight and applying that all over to give my lips a really nice tone. I enjoy this makeup look because it really accentuates the eye shape. I enjoy it because it's a nice balance between a matte sultry eye and a glowing youthful skin. Thank you guys once again for stopping by and I hope to see you in my next video.